Next biggest question I get, because you can only imagine, as, as, my, as, my, as my family, of course, went through high school and uh, youth sports, and, and, and I coached uh, Pop Warner for 10 years, uh, and you know basketball and baseball as, as the kids went up. And I, so I get nonstop questions when you went around the world doing a high school coaches seminar or for parents or anything. Big question, should my son, should my, what about creatine for teens or, or children? Well, first of all, let's just start with this. There's no study has ever been found that shows creatine supplementation have adverse effect in children. There are zero. So just keep that in mind. That, just, just saying that. In fact, four to eight grams a day, up to three years, are used as therapy for synthesis and deficiency and neuromuscular disorders in children. So we know, you know, again, that's four to eight grams. That's more than an average user would use in a maintenance case. Up to three years in children. And then we're talking about even newborns that have an inborn error of making, being able to make creatine. But all that said, the lack of data in youth sports leads to our recommendation, and it's a it's a CYA. For those of you who don't know what CYA is, it's called cover your ass. Recommending 18 or older with, but we do have a caveat. So we always say 18 or older, you can consider creatine. However, you know the ISSN position, which is the big body of sports nutrition, they're 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 they're. They're out there a little, I'm going to say out there, they're definitely not afraid to make a call based on all the research that's out there. As long as you're post-pubescent, okay, and I put that numbers down here. So, you know, uh, females usually are, you know, uh, somewhere after 14, boys somewhere at 16 or over, all right? Should consider creation supplementation under certain conditions. And I just listed the conditions here. Uh, involved in serious competitive training, because obviously there's no reason otherwise eating appropriately so it doesn't compensate for a bad diet. And the parents approve because I understand the facts concerning the effects. And you can get all that information in the document right now that I have. And I, we have our stand on it as well. So I get that question, you know, about, you know, would you use it? Well, I can tell you this. It helps prevent injury. It helps recovery. It helps all of those things. I'm not sure. It's my kids grew up playing football and so forth. I don't think I would let my kid play football in high school. Uh, or certainly in the junior and senior years, without using creatine because it is only positive to the health all the way around. But again, that's just a you know it's a personal thing, and then my you know friends will ask me the same thing, and it makes sense. Again, some people it doesn't. That's all. But again, there, there's no evidence. There's nothing that could possibly that you can possibly think of that could hurt the child or hurt anybody. So that's. But the answer is just a CYA, 18 or older from us, with this caveat down below here. All right. And if you want to see what's going on now, this just came out well after I finished this. I didn't finish this. I finished this document. Got to the end of last year. So uh, this just came out in 2017. In fact, I think it's ahead of print right now, but it's just got published and accepted. Uh, and this, the average group of this was like about 17 years old, 16. and So they were anywhere from 15 to 18-year-old elite soccer players, youth. But look at this, at 2.2 grams a day. So you can see they're already studying it now in, in sports and, and youth led to 8% increase in peak and mean power output compared to baseline. And that's total, all, you know, that's, that's, that's a good number all the way around. And total work from anaerobic test increased 7%. So again, we can see it does have a positive effect, and a very positive effect, actually, in, in youth. And of course, they wouldn't test this if it wasn't ethically okay. So, I mean, that's how sure we are about how creatine being saved today.